All right. <laughs> First thing you want to do is make your black, right? We stress that. How do you make black? All the colors, yep. A little bit goes a long way. I'm just picking up a tiny bit. Red, yellow, blue makes black. That's leaning towards a purple, blue kind of look. I don't know, that looks pretty good to me. It's a little bit green, so I could redden that up a little bit. Get it warmer, right? Okay, so you might say, yeah, but it doesn't really look black. But remember, when you put it on your paper, it gives the illusion of black. That looks black, okay? So you just go with it, okay? Now remember, if I take black and I mix black into my colors, am I changing the color? If I take that black, did I change the color at all? Like I made it a little darker, but I changed the actual color? No, I just added black, right? Black's not a color, okay? That black is just ground up dirt, remember? It's the cheapest paint you can buy. So is white, cheapest paint you can buy. So if you want the best, paint with the best, right? Paint with actual color. So now I can take that color and I can mix it and I can make all of these beautiful brown-ish flesh tones I got going on, <laughs> right? Uh, let's see, that looks like a good flesh tone. Okay. So this is like a darker color. All right, let me warm it up a little. Okay, so remember, right? So what you can do is you can still paint in that temporal watercolor kind of way, okay? But uh, you will lose the luminosity. So what I kind of encourage you to do is you start very watercolor, very light, like lighter than this and then you kind of work in your egg. But let me do that. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of dry this off a little. So instead of using the water, like now I have a dry brush, I'm gonna use the egg. So my paint's already watered down. So it's not like I'm using that much. But instead of using the water, now my egg will create this transparency, my yolk. But see how I'm, it's, and it's lighter but it'll help create layers and more of a luminosity. Okay, so I could go in there to get my shadowing on this little baby. Right? So that's what I recommend you do. So it doesn't get as brushy as like that water that I put on there, it kind of leaves a little bit of a, a buildup on the paint. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe. You see that there's like, like a like texture to it. You can kind of see that, right? Like that glow. That's the glow. That glow that you get. You'll keep that glow. Like in water, that glow would just go away because the water dries. In the egg yolk, you keep it. So you get this like, like this luminosity that stays in there, okay? And I, know, I keep saying that word, but that's a good painting term to remember. So this is what I recommend you do. I recommend you start with getting your black, right? You make your black, you mix it with your shadow color, and then you paint in those shadowed areas so that you're starting to build your realism. Okay, so tempera is supposed to be layered on layered on layered. Um, because if you are in this uh, classroom instructions, okay, um, like you can use other mediums too. Like you can use um, hair gel, vegetable oil, pop, water. It doesn't matter what your medium is. It's just, what medium is going to give you the best, brightest color and preserve, like, preserve your paint? None of those will. Like, oil never really dries. You've got problems with it. But, like, I got egg yolk and food coloring going on there. But egg yolk will. So this is like a test kind of thing. So you can see, like, with the hair gel, it, like, didn't hold the paint very well at all. It's super faded and light. With um, the water, it did did keep the color, but you don't have the shine. Like, it's hard to see in the picture, but this has a shine to it. Okay, so here's another, another picture that was a very common theme 